Hey everybody and welcome to another hiring alert. I hope you're liking these hiring alert videos. If you are, please hit the subscribe button and also like this video and share it with any of your friends who are also looking for a job right now. Uh, today's hiring alert video is about Swiggy. Yes, Swiggy, our favorite app where we order food from, uh, where we enjoy meals from. Uh, I'm again going to tell you three quick things. Number one, where you can go and apply for this. What are some of the previous kind of questions that have come for this one and how you can prepare for roles such as these ones. So yeah, without further delay, let's get started. This is the Swiggy hiring alert that we're going to talk about. And uh, the eligibility and other details are mentioned here. Again, this is one of those roles where you, you can either you can be a fresher from BTEC or MTEC. So I believe even 2021 students actually can apply. The caveat here or the condition here is 0 0.6 to 1 years experience. Again, as I was explaining earlier, is that whenever you see 0 0.6 to 1 years, what they want to know is that this is probably not your first job. You should have either had an internship uh, where you've done some sort of work. I know based in this pandemic, a lot of students did internships, proper internships at proper companies. And you know that has been helpful for them. So you can definitely go ahead and try out and apply um, to these companies. Uh, obviously someone who's graduated in 2020 and actually had one year experience or 0 0.6 years experience in a company will have more preference, but still, uh, you know, if you've had a really good internship, if you had a really good project, uh, you know, at this kind of an internship, then you also could be considered, uh, knowledge of what they've mentioned at least was a good object oriented language. So that rules out C like they will not really just accept just C language, but Java, C++, Python, Golang seems to be what they're going for. They definitely want the databases knowledge as well. Uh, this is more of an off campus role. And so there's no like uh, contest happening or there's no assessment happening. You have to apply at their website. The link for that is mentioned in the description below. So do check out that link. Uh, when I open that link, this is what comes up by the way. So this is what comes up. This is their uh, hiring portal. And let me also just go to that. Yeah, this is the hiring portal. A lot of stuff is given about the team, about what you can expect. Please go through it. Uh, you know, they've written a couple of blogs as well. Again, if you are, are really interested in working at Swiggy, you should go and read these blogs and see what are the kind of technical challenges that they are uh, facing or rather the kind of technical challenges they solve. Uh, I've distilled all of this or summarized all of this in the slides, but this is exactly what I was telling you about, about what all you can expect uh, them to ask, right? So this, these are all of the, uh, you know, requirements that they have. So yeah, go ahead, click apply and, you know, upload your CV, upload all of the details and so on. Uh, what are the kind of questions you could expect? Well, if you are called up, there are typically what we know of is there are, there are two to three rounds. Uh, first round usually starts with a coding round and in that from our understanding generally speaking the previous questions are based on things like arrays trees dynamic programming graphs and data structures as well they might ask you to create a different sort of a data structure create a hybrid set sort of a data structure uh, because if you look at swiggy and this is again you if you whenever you look at a company think about what are the kind of problems they'll be solving on a day-to-day -day basis swiggy on a day-to-day -day basis is going to be solving problems related to delivery they need to be able to store addresses they need to be able to store orders they need to be able to release orders at the correct time so think from their perspective and try to think of data structures from that perspective because the questions you will get uh, the challenges you will get are all going to be similar in the high hiring round. Uh, arrays, trees, dynamic programming graphs, these are the kind of questions that they ask. If you want to prepare for these, as I mentioned earlier, you can always go to the edist daily challenges. They are completely free. We have done five editions of the daily challenges. It's mentioned on edist.com, also mentioned in the links below, in the description below. So you can check out over there. Also check out our algos and data structures course. What's the difference between these? The daily challenges is for anybody who just wants to check out some questions, wants to check out some solutions. So those are there on our platform and also on YouTube. You can just you know, YouTube them. Uh, algos and data structures courses for someone who's really wants to get into algos data structures. You don't know the basics of bit manipulation. You don't know the basics of arrays. When I say arrays, it, I'm talking about advanced arrays. You don't know how to get started with DP, with graphs, all of those. Uh, we help you do that. Uh, through our algos and data structures course. Uh, we've had students go into most of these kind of companies. In fact, in our entire course, we only solve questions from these kind of companies. We show you how you can actually end up solving these questions. So how to look at a problem, how to, you know, get the domain of the problem from this uh, given uh, problem. So you given a problem statement, how do I identify? Is this an arrays problem? Is it a stacks problem? Is it a linked list problem? Is it a DP problem? you will be able to do that. And uh, this is done not just through recording classes, but also live sessions with instructors. I'm me being one of the instructors. You will also get mentor support as well as a platform to practice whenever you want to, more than 300 questions. 
and uh, we also be, end up giving referrals to companies if you're performing really high on the platform and performing really well um, so yeah if you are interested in algos data structures and you want to learn all of these topics that are mentioned here all the advanced topics of dp graphs backtracking as well as going for things like arrays strings um, you know the basics of any algos and data structures uh, coding sessions do sign up for the edist algos and data structures course which is mentioned in the description below also mentioned uh, over here you can also use this link yeah you can also use this link over here so yeah that was the swiggy hiring alert this we saw this post on their on the page and we thought that you should know about it uh, for more such hiring alert videos please subscribe to this channel uh, like this video and you know let us know if you are liking these hiring alert videos let us know in the comments below uh, that motivates us to keep providing more of these if, if these are you know helpful for you and they are helping you to apply to more jobs we'd love to keep producing more of these hiring alert videos thanks everybody for joining in today and yes i'll see you all next time all the best hope all of you get a job as in, in a company as good as swiggy Thank you so much. I'll see you all next time.